Hello and welcome back to Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc. In the last episode, I left you off with us learning that Byakuya did not go see Sakura. Excuse me. Did not go see Sakura when Sakura called the three people who did not trust her fully. And I'm now off to see what the other two have to say. Genocide Jill slash Toko and uh, Hiro, which I already suspected Hiro a little bit because of the way that he was acting before. So let's get out of here. That's, yep, yep. <laughs> okay, I was just about to exit through the door, but then I remembered, no, this is, gonna, this is technically evidence. This door is the only way in or out of the rec room. The room doesn't have a lock, so the, uh, there's no evidence. Oh, God. It went through everything. I thought it was just going to be like one recap thing. Okay. Those other two probably went back to their rooms. Okay, so I immediately just go back to the rooms. So I don't even get to check back in the chem lab. Uh, if I remember correctly, Hero's room is somewhere over there in the other hallway, but... Toko's is, like, right here. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Choked on, like, air or something. I press the doorbell. Ding dong. And after a few seconds... Glad that I can use, uh, reuse this asset. Oh. Uh, hey, Toko. Ugh. The most negative aura I've ever felt. An aura of total decay. What do you want? So you're back to normal. Genocide Jack isn't around anymore. Don't even say her name. It makes me sick to my stomach. So even she doesn't like it. Hmm. I was in such a good mood, too. Really? She didn't look like she was in a good mood. <laughs> hey, I was hoping to talk to you about something. Is now a bad time? <laughs> Oh. That's why I saw Genocide Jill. Toko must have passed out and turned into Genocide Jill and then they left. Maybe? I don't know. Obviously annoyed, Toko slithered it into the hall. What do you want? You said you said you wanted to talk to me about something, right? Yeah. Sorry, my mind is still trying to process stuff. I wanted to talk about the fact that Sakura had asked to meet with you. She might have seen, uh, Sakura puke up blood, and that's why she turned into... Genocide Jill? I don't know. What? Well, uh, I don't know what you're talking about. Byakuya already told me that she had asked to meet with him. I don't know if I even read the line. <laughs> what? She wanted to meet with Master too? Uh, I just said two, didn't I? <laughs> Guess now it's totally obvious, huh? It, yeah, pretty much. Uh, so, can you tell me about it? I admit it, I did get the note. But I didn't go see her! Oh, you... Okay, you didn't. Huh, you didn't. It doesn't mean Genocide Jill didn't. I was scared, so... I couldn't bring myself to go. Hmm. Toko claims she didn't go see her, but... Can I really believe her? Well, until I prove otherwise, I have no choice but to accept that as fact. Mm -hmm. Is that good enough? And I'm going back to my room. With that, Toko quickly retreated into her room. Toko's account has been added to the Truth Bullet section of your handbook. Okay. Hero. Hero. There you are. I press the doorbell. Ding dong. And after a few seconds... You know? <laughs> What's up, Makoto? Did you need something? Yeah. Actually, I just wanted to check something. It's about how Sakura wanted to meet with you. <laughs> How'd you know about that? Could it be... Whoa. Maybe you... Did you maybe... Gaze into my soul? Have your special abilities awakened in you? Um, but I'm not the only one she wanted to meet with. Ogre told me herself that she asked Byakuya and Toko to come too. What? When did Sakura tell you that? Uh, well, uh, um, when she asked me to meet with her, of course. But, but, didn't she write you a note? 
Oh, yeah, uh, a note. She, uh, How about that? she gave it to me in person. And she happened to mention the others, like, in passing. I gotta be honest, this is super suspicious. So then, you went and met with Sakura? You got it all wrong! No way! I totally didn't! Why would I ever do that? Yeah, definitely suspicious. Actually... The last time I saw Ogre was when Hina got hurt, and I took her to the nurse's office. D don't look at me! I haven't seen her since then! Why well, here? Could you show me the note she gave you? Uh, oh, um, um, do I still have it? Uh, let's see. Hero is feeling around in his pockets. Hey, come uh, on. Sorry. Looks like I don't have it anymore. The big goofy smile on his face, he pulled his hands back out of his pockets. But when he did, I saw something flutter to the ground. Something had fallen out of Hero's pocket. A candy wrapper. Ah. Huh? Huh? Uh. What? Uh-oh. Quick as the wind, Hiro snatched it back up again and shoved it back into his pocket. So, Hiro was with Sakura, at least, but it doesn't mean that he killed her. He went out of his way to kill her. Hmm. Maybe he was just a distraction? I don't know. Hey, come on. <laughs> Sorry, just a bit of trash I forgot to throw out. Trash? What? Uh, anyway, I, I can't deny that Ogre asked me to meet with- uh, to meet with me, but I- I never went. She was eating that in that room. She wanted to taste it. Did he not only give out one? I wonder. So, well, if, if you'll excuse me. <laughs> Before waiting for a reply, Hero quickly slipped back into his room. I kind of imagine that, like... When it says slip back in the room, I kind of imagine like a T2, like Terminator 2, just kind of like, like a, like an ooze, like a, almost like Silly Putty, they squeeze through the crack in the door, and like you see the human body just contort into this mass, and it, <laughs> that's all I imagine. Hero said that was just trash, but there's no way that's all there was to it. Pocket trash has been added. <laughs> Pocket trash has been added to the bullet section of your handbook. Okay, so I've heard from Telco and Hero. Um, what next? I'll definitely have to look at the actual crime scene again. But on top of that, maybe I should find out more about the protein can we found on the floor of the rec room. I'm sure it must have come from the chem lab. So where should I start? Uh. I mean, it's gonna be quick just to look at the candy wrapper up upstairs, but heaven forbid I run into anybody. Oh, shit, not that one. Uh, you. Map. Yeah. Heaven forbid I run into anybody down here. Or do I have to walk my way? Yep, yeah, that's the rec room. Is Byakuya... Yeah, okay, Byakuya is actually already at the chem lab. Okay, so long as I'm here, let me... Let me go into the rec room. <laughs> the window's gone! <laughs> hey. Does... Does Hiro have another crystal ball? No, the, sh the shards would be more, like, rounded. So what the hell could have been... I don't know. So Makoto, how's your investigation going? I told Kyoko what Toko and Hiro told me. I see. I see. So along with Byakuya, they're both claiming they didn't go see her. But it's all too convenient. Someone must be lying. Someone's... lying? Anyway... Well, I've made some progress on my own. Sakura's body, the shelf of magazines, and, Monokuma bo and the Monokuma bottles. These three things have revealed new clues. You do... Hmm. What well, specifically? You do well to look them over one more time. So, what was that? Sakura's body, the magazine, and the bottles? Right? Ah, uh, shit. Not that one. Uh, Sakura's body, the shelf of magazines, and Monokuma bottles. Okay, let's... Uh... Let me look at this first. Maybe I can compare it. I gave that to Sakura. 
she got super upset when she found out Genocide Jack had attacked me, right? Oh, this is the same thing? Yeah, same sort of thing. Okay, Sakura's body. According to Kyoko, there's still something to be discovered from Sakura's body. Just a second. Just starting staring off into space isn't going to help you figure anything out. W well, yeah, I know, but hey. don't you think you might need to actually examine the body? Ooh. There's no getting around it. Unlike me, Kyoko didn't recoil at the thought of touching a dead body. She was completely unemotional. It's the kind of thing I've grown perversely used to. Although, there are still some times... I can't believe how calm you are. No matter how many times I see a dead body, I can't get used to it. It's true. That's totally normal. Then, how can you? So... I imagine it's because I've had plenty of opportunities to touch dead bodies in the past. <laughs> what? Sorry. Never mind. Hey. More importantly, look here. Yellow? Is that vomit? Or paint. Yellow. 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 I don't know. Look here. Or shoes? Does her shoe? And I think her shoe says Sakura. Yeah. Correct. But that's not really important. You see that yellow powder on her, on her instep? That's got to be the protein powder. Yeah, it really stands out. I see. That powder is a clue. Is clue number one. Oh yeah, I just gotta look out for what, uh, chemical is yellow, and it'll be the poison. Yeah. Yellow powder has been added to the truth bullets. Hey. Yeah, duh. Next is the wound on her head. Look carefully. It's true. Actually, even telling you that, it's incredibly difficult to spot, so let me- so let me just explain. It would seem... It would appear that she didn't suffer a single blow. Huh? But instead received two blows to the- to the head. So then, where's the other piece? Two blows? Indeed. Interesting, wouldn't you say? And there's one more interesting thing. Correct. Both of her hands are sp were spotless. There's absolutely no trace of blood on either one. It's true. So that's what I learned from examining her body in detail. Kyoko's examination summary has been added to the truth bullet section of her handbook. Yeah, so both bottles were used to hit her. So that means two people must have hit her at the same time. But is there only one wound? I wonder. And one of the pieces is missing. I can't believe she was able to learn all that just by looking at her body. I don't think anyone but Kyoko would have that could have pulled that off. Next up, magazines! I don't know why I'm yawning. Kyoko said the magazine shelf was hiding a clue of some kind. Hmm. Clue. Clue. The upside down magazine? Oh, somebody was waiting to meet with her, and was just reading something? Huh. Huh? This magazine is upside down, and it was re and when it was put back, it's upside down. Did someone put it back the that way on accident? Hey. If something catches your eye, it's important for you to explore that in detail, don't you think? Yeah, you're right. Someone definitely did meet up, but it, it doesn't mean that only one of them did. Could be two. I picked up the inverted magazine and flipped through it. Wow. Wait, hold on. But her hands are spotless, so that's not her blood. So someone used Sakura's blood and wrote down Toko's name. Huh. This is... On one of the pages near the center of the magazine, a word had been, a word had been written in blood. Bold, bloody letters. And it said, Toko. Could this be... Yeah, uh, Sakura would have had no time to, um... Clean off her hands, so somebody else definitely wrote it and then washed their hands later. But how? I don't know. A dying message? Correct. And it would appear you found it. Kyoko, is this... So... It is indeed a dying message. Someone used their finger to write it. A dying message? However... But just to be clear, I'm not the one who put it back upside down. It was already like that when I found a little- when I found it a little while ago. I made sure to put it back exactly as I found it, for the benefit of others who might come looking. Um... Uh, hey, is that... That says... Toko, right? 
Yeah, it looks like it. Then, she's the killer, right? Well, it hasn't been confirmed yet. It's settled. She's the killer for sure. That's, that's convulsive evidence, right? We can use it to corner the killer. Hmm. I don't know. I can see why you would think that, but... It just seems too easy. If anything, it makes me think... It makes... Ugh. It makes me that much more suspicious. Okay. Magazine dying message has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. Uh, And it was the monokuma bottles, right? Or was it the glass shards? Uh, What exactly am I looking at? What exactly am I looking at? Oh, wow. This is back a ways. Wow. Uh, Monokuma bottles. Gotcha. Okay, Monokuma bottles. I think Kyoko said she'd found a new clue involving the Monokuma bottles. Something new. Something new. Hmm. Hey. So, did you figure it out? There's a hidden correlation between all the bottles. Pay careful attention, and you're sure to find it. It's either the queen or the king. I don't know which, unfortunately. Correlation? Hmm. Hey, Kyoko, can't you just tell me what it is? So... I don't mind guiding you toward clues, but giving you my conclusion isn't a good idea. Each person needs to come up with their own conclusions so that everyone can have confidence in the outcome. So it's, so it's not just because you don't trust me, right? No answer! <laughs> I do trust you. To a degree. Otherwise, I wouldn't have told you anything to begin with. Only to a degree. Monokuma bottle has been updated to the truth bullets. Hey. Yeah, it's been updated. Actually, there's one other thing about the Monokuma bottles that's bothering me. I'd like to do an experiment to confirm it. You don't mind helping me, right? An experiment? Anyway. Can you gather up all the pieces of the broken Monokuma bottle? Try to get the smaller pieces too. Huh? Are you sure it's okay to mess with the crime scene just like that? We're gonna gather up two completely different tops and bottoms. Yes. That doesn't matter. I've already done a thorough investigation, so it's fine. And that obnoxious and that obnoxious Biakrio is not here, so. So then. Anyway, I need to get something from the chem lab. While I'm gone, try to gather up all the piece, all the glass. Uh, yeah, and while you're over there, Biakrio and you can keep an eye on one another so you don't take the actual chemical. With that, Kyoko left the room. I really don't know what this is about, but... What choice do I have? I'd better just do it. I took the broom and dustpan and got to work collecting all the broken bottle pieces. And just as I finished up... Uh, is this Kyoko? Sorry to keep... So yep, sorry to keep you waiting. Is everything ready? Then let's get to work. So... What kind of experiment are we doing? Oh, did she get... Did she go to get adhesive, maybe? In other words... I got a scale from the Oh! Hmm. I, I was about to say, the, the amount should weigh the same as a bottle, but it won't. But... Uh... I was about to say, if we also put on a piece, what about the, uh, the size difference of the pieces? Do the, will those matter as much? I got a scale from the chem lab. We're going to use it to compare weights. Compare the weights of what? The pieces of glass you collected, and the one of and one of the Monokuma bottles that's still intact. Why do you want to do that? That's the point of the experiment. It'll make sense when we're done. Listen. First, let's compare the weight of two. <laughs> let's compare the weight of two of the normal Monokuma bottles. One is. Slightly heavier? But it says that the pawn one is. It's balanced, never mind. In other words. Which means each Monokuma bottle weighs about the same. Okay, fine. If you want to be that roundabout, it looks like it's off, but it is even, which makes sense. The Monokuma figures inside are basically the same, and nothing else could really affect that weight. So then. Now here comes the important part. Put all the pieces you picked up on one side of the scale. 
Now, now, what might we expect to see? Well, a normal assumption would be either they'll balance out or the pieces I collected will be lighter. It's gonna be heavier. I did my best to get them all, but there's a chance I could have missed some here and there. So then. Okay, then let's give it a try. Oh, that's a lot more. I did not think it was gonna be that much. Huh? The broken pieces are heavier? How is that possible? I knew it. Just as I thought. What? In other words, the results of our experiment and the correlation between each of the bottles put it all together. Hey. And I believe you will arrive at one very persuasive conclusion. So, what do you think? It's all on you. Monokuma bottle experiment has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. There, I've finished examining all the things Kyoko mentioned. And I did find some new clues. But when it comes to the locker room puzzle, I'm still totally clueless. Hey. Oh, I just remembered. There was something I wanted to tell you. I saw Byakuya in the chem lab when I went to go get the scale. <sighs> I didn't want to deal with him, so I, so I took great pains to sneak in and out without him noticing me. Why? What does it matter? And... So... If you haven't checked out the chem lab, you should probably do that, since I couldn't do it myself. You know, the protein can we found in the murder scene must have come from the chem lab. I think you're right. I should probably take a look around that area. Indeed. Okay. And with that, I can leave. You two keep watch over here. And I'm glad that, uh... She was able to leave, uh, Hina and I. Overwatching that, uh... Heard that? Jesus, Sakura overwatching Sakura's body while she went to go get that scale. Okay, the chem lab was this way, right? And right here? No, that's the office. Where's the chem lab? Uh, what did the bottle say? Chem lab, chem A2, right? That's the data lab. I don't remember. That's the music room. Oh, I missed it. I must have I must have looked at it like this or something. Or I just didn't go far enough. I don't know. Okay, the chem lab. Oh, what the fuck? Makoto. Do you have your eye on the chem lab too? Just make sure you don't get in my way. Yeah, I got it. I think what you meant to say was, yes sir, I understand. Fuck. Off. Okay, so we know that it's from A2. Or at least that's what the shaker was from. But what is this? Huh. Okay, so what can I click on? Wait, what? Is it all one thing? Maybe it's all one thing, I don't know. This isn't my first time seeing the shelf, but I just can't get over how big it is. Should probably take a closer look at it. Oh. That's why it was only one thing. Looks like there are three shelves that have been connected together to make one giant shelf. But more important right now... What's that powder that's been spilled in front of the shelf? That's all yellow. I have to be careful not to step in it. Yes. Oh, there's a few... Ooh, somebody... Wait a minute, somebody walked... Into it. And back out. So they got the canister... After? Yeah, because this spilled before. The powder would be on the bottom of Sakura's shoes, not the top. Oh, wait! No, it's because it spilled and landed on her shoes. But it looks like it, it walks toward it. Huh, interesting. Okay, let's look at these three and then I'll make my way through. Okay. Let's see, what's on this shelf? There are all kinds of dietary supplements and different medicines. This is all chem... There's chem A2. Chemical A2. The protein drink we found in the rec room probably came from this shelf. All the... Also, there's chem C9 that's been placed in there. For some odd reason. All the containers on the shelf are labeled with the letter A and a number. 
So I guess I consider I can kiss consider this part of the shelving unit section A. Huh? But wait. There's one bottle here that's labeled Chem C9. Could someone have put it here on accident? I don't think so. So on this shelf is we find Chem something that's hidden. It looks like a bunch of chemicals that have no idea uh, that I have no idea what they are. Hmm. They're reagents. Reagents? I think that I think that's right. But simply, they're used in experiments to bring about a chemical reaction. Now you've lived in such ignorance for so long, it truly must be bliss. Isn't that kind of harsh? What? You think studying science and mathematics has no practical application in the real world? That's fine. The words of a lifelong loser, which I suppose suits you well. I didn't even say that. Anyway, that doesn't matter. Right now I need to focus on the shelf. All the containers on the shelf are labeled with a letter B and a number. So I guess I can consider this part of the shelving section B. I don't see anything out of the ordinary, in which case I don't think I have to worry too much about this shelf. Okay, um, I was I was wondering if there was anything down here that I had to click on, but that's all just one shelving unit. On this shelf is... C9, C9... Oh, there's a lot of C9. Huh. Hmm, so one of the bottles from over here explicitly has been put into... Uh, A. One look and I can tell it's nothing but dangerous chemicals with all the skull and crossbones. These look like poisons and other powerful chemicals. All the containers on the shelf are labeled with the letter C and a number. I guess I can consider this part of the shelving unit section C. I should try and find more about this shelving unit. Looks like it's split into three sections. Section A has dietary supplements, section B has reagents, and section C has lethal chemicals. Sakura must have gotten the protein powder from section A. But that concerns me. But what concerns me is that in section A, there was a bottle with the label from section C. What was a bottle of poison from section C doing in section A? That's definitely something going on there. Hmm. Hmm. The timing in my head is a bit fuzzy, but I'm placing down some events. Chem lab shelf has been added to the uh, yeah. Okay. All right, let's start here and then work our way to the footprints. There's a bunch of broken. Uh, there's a broken bottle in front of the shelf. Is this where all the powder came from? I was about to say, the uh, the bottles downstairs uh, in the rec room are brown, and these are also brown, but that's not true. Also, this is C4. That's an explosive, if you don't know, but it's not that same C4. Um, hmm. I wonder where that other bottle went. I don't know. There's a blue that broken bottle, and is this where all the powder came from? It looks like... The bottle had a label on it. Chem C4. Hmm. Would you like to hear something interesting? I was on the fourth floor this morning checking things out, and at that point, this room wasn't like this. Then, this powder must have been spilled. So, in other words... That's right. It could have only been around the same time of the incident. That really is when it happened. It must be related to the case somehow. Indeed. Uh, so if it happened around the same time... As the event... As when she was murdered... Is this artificial, I wonder? Sources of the powder has been added to the truth bullet section. I don't know yet. Uh, midway through? There's a bunch of yellow powder scattered on the floor. I'd better not leave a footprint. Huh, interestingly enough, there's some footprints over here. These are... Footprints? Yes, indeed he do. And they're only in front of the left shelf. Uh, I should have read that differently. And they're only in front of the left shelf. Hmm. How do these footprints relate to the scene as a whole? We may need to sketch out the floor plan. 
By we, do you mean me? Hmm. How kind of you to offer. With an insufferable smirk, he handed me a piece of paper and a pen. It's... Shh. Hmm. Was someone else at sea? And it dropped and it spilled and maybe some got in... The drink? The, the way that the footprints are pointing, I don't like it. I don't like it. That's what I'm having issues with. An insufferable smirk, he handed me a piece of paper and a pen. What? Well, let's go. Chop, chop. Uh, okay. So I got to work, and before long I'd drawn up a sketch of the room. Oh, that, that thumb. Ugh. Um, so how's this? Not bad. For you, I mean. For me? I see. So, when you look at it like this, it's interesting. It would appear who that whoever left... Okay, so they walked to A, put it in, and then probably see that they had taken footprints. So they might have jumped over the rest of it, maybe? It would appear that whoever left these footprints only had business on the leftmost shelf. They came in, went straight to that shelf, did whatever they had to do, and then left. So what the fruit this what the footprints tell me. And that's probably replacing the bottle of the poison that they got back into A. I see. These footprints must be It's certainly possible. Makoto, are they yours? No! What? Okay, then let me see your shoes, and I'll confirm their size for myself. Couldn't think of a reason not to, so I quietly did what Byakuya said. Hmm. I see. Your feet do appear to be too big. Unfortunately, I must admit these are not your footprints. Okay, so it's somebody with a smaller shoe size. Uh, I doubt that's you, because you're taller. I mean, there's no guarantee. Uh, Sakura is basically out, even though that we already know that, because she's dead. Um... The other people would be Hina? Kyoko. And Toko. I don't think Hiro... Would not, unless his feet are smaller than mine, I don't know. I must admit, these are not your footprints. Unfortunately... Hmm. But with how clear these footprints are, it should be quite easy to determine who they do belong to. And these footprints... Then these prints are a really valuable clue. We should probably take a... Good hard look at that powder. It's a bunch of yellow powder scattered on the floor in front of the shelf. There's also the remains of a broken bottle. It looks like the bottle was labeled Chem C4. Also, it looks like someone left some footprints in that powder. Yes, indeed, he do. Based on the positioning of the footprints, whoever it was... <laughs> Excuse me. I keep hiccuping, I keep burping. Jesus, why does everybody watch me? Based on the positioning of the prints, whoever it was only went to the left side of the shelf. According to Byakuya, the powder would have... Uh, would have... Would had to have been spilled right around the time of the incident. That's all I can tell for now. Around the time of the event. Hmm. If it's on top of Sakura's shoes... Say, say somebody spilled it, and Sakura was standing there getting her own protein shake. It would have just spilled on top of her shoes, and then she would have backed up. I don't know. Footprints in the powder. Is that really the end? Wow. This one I kind of have to rely on a lot of lies, I guess, and contradictions. Whoops! He had caught me sleeping! Your investigation was just so boring, I couldn't stay awake. Shh. Should I do it? Is it okay? Can I? Can I? Can I? Can I? <sighs> okay, then let's begin the class trial. You know where to meet, right? Yeah, the red door. Please go through the red door on the first floor of the school. I just said that. <laughs> See you soon. Is it time already? We're right in the middle of figuring out 
this locked room mystery. I'll have to try and tie up all the loose ends on the cla uh, at the class trial. Is there a possibility that Sakura... No, it, it would have to be a murder. It can't be just a suicide. Hmm. No. I absolutely will figure the everything out. I don't know. Boop. 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 Walking... To the red door of disgust. And despair. Wow, there's so little people here. Monokuma made his announcement and everyone began to meet up. One after another. And then... <laughs> the ultimate martial artist! A locked room mystery! What? What the... <laughs> oh, I've just recently discovered the power of emoticons! I think he was using them last time, too. Wait, who was it? There was somebody else, right? Like, no matter how awful something is, if you toss a little smiley face, it turns positive! Yes, indeed! For example... <laughs> You're at a picnic and you find a dead body, XD. This is just plain creepy. This is just plain creepy. Well? And how about the reverse? Phew. No matter how great something is, if you put it in a sad face, it makes it look super negative. Yes, indeed. For example, hmm. you have a hundred friends. <laughs> uh, he's right. That does sound, make it seem sad. But then how the fuck is he doing that by talking? <laughs> it's not like these people are... Is this actually a game? That would it That would actually make sense with my whole uh Sword Art Online thing. If people are actually seeing walls of text in front of them and they just think that's normal. I don't know. Now then, please get on the elevator! <laughs> I'll see you all down there. <laughs> What the hell was that? Oh, I don't get it. Just the worst. I don't get you guys. How can you act so casual after murdering someone? D don't look uh, at me. I don't think I'm acting casual. Don't be mean. Uh, I mean, I didn't murder anyone. What the heck? Yeah, I'm completely innocent. How dare you call me a murderer? What the heck? Whatever. Either way, the truth will be revealed soon enough. My highest suspicion is on Hero as of right now. Because Toko, or Genocide, Jack, and Hero are the only two that would make sense as of yet. I don't know. Because there can be no doubt one of us is the culprit. The killer. The one that murdered Sakura. She was stronger than anyone I know. And yet someone killed her. And that person is here? That person is... One of us. Yep. Hey, hero. How are you acting calm? D don't look at me. <laughs> You're not. <laughs> I said it before and I'll say it again. It, it wasn't me. All right, Byakuya. Hmm. The culprit is one of us. Make no mistake about that. Yep, that would be why the murder bell rang. Toko. What the heck? Because I... Didn't do it. How many times do I have to tell you? Okay. Hina. I, th I think it's funny how it's completely divided up. Like, split right down the middle. How can you just stand there and say you didn't do it? Even without breaking a sweat? I mean, one of them is technically breaking a sweat. Kyoko. Hey. Standing around here isn't going to do any good. Let's get going. Okay. We head downstairs. But, I... Mm. Yeah, I, I I can cut it a little bit in the middle of it. Come on, it's time to put an end to this. I made my way toward the elevator. But with each step I took, I felt like I was moving further and further away from my goal. I could feel a chilling fear running through me. Trying to make me rot from the inside out. No matter how many times I go through this, it never gets easy and any easier. We climbed into our steel prison in total silence. Okay, this one, I'm... This one I'm a bit more lost on than 
any other one. Except except for the one with Mondo and Chihiro, because that wasn't really revealed until like the very end. We watched the doors close. And felt it began its sinister descent. It almost looks wrong having it being this open. The elevator lowered, uttering us uttering its all too familiar clunking clunking sounds. It fell lower and lower. And as suddenly eh, and as suddenly as always the ride was over. The doors opened once again. <laughs> Monokuma's not sitting has, has, has he stood there before? I don't think so. Hmm, just the six of you, huh? Really? That's so few. You must be so lonely. You say like that is not your... <laughs> you, you say it like that's not your fault that we're... Uh, I don't even know what I'm reading. You say like it's not your fault. We're all... We're all that's left. <laughs> I wonder, will the class trial end with one less classmate again? Or... <laughs> Will your school life come to an end completely? Now then. Now then. Are we ready to begin? You know the drill. Find your assigned seats. And so, the curtain opened for the first, fourth time. <laughs> fourth time. <laughs> a deadly du judgment. A deadly deception. A deadly betrayal. A deadly riddle. A deadly defense. A deadly faith. A deadly class trial. I don't know why I'm struggling just to read all of a sudden. I have no idea why. Pre-trial prep. Nice. So I was able to cover the investigation really in like one recording kind of. Eh, not really. I did I did investigate a little bit before. Yucky ducky. Yes. Overwrite that. Okay, open the e-handbook. Uh, it's gonna have all the truth bullets. Let's set the skills first. Lost in thought. Uh, increase the time limit for each phase effective during the class trial. Uh, crystal prediction. Uh, what was this one? Lost in thought. Was that? I don't know. Decreases. Oh god, that costs five. I don't even have that much. Decreases the argument to three statements or less effective during the nonstop debate in the bullet time battle final strike. Increases an argument to three statements or less. Effective during the non-stop debate and bullet time battle. Wow. I don't have enough points for that, but it would be a start. Uh, I do like the ambidextrousness for the bullet time battle, and I have a plan for, the, for that one. Increases damage to the opponent when a statement is destroyed. Effective during bullet time battle. Um... I guess I can take this away if if I can make it the bullet time battle that much easier. If I do, increases an argument to three statements or less. I'll see how that works. And loss in thought costs three. Damn it. Uh, increases the time limit for each phase effective during the class trial. Um, I could have two powers instead of just one, so maybe I go back to Melodious Voice. I feel as if, like, the Crystal Prediction would help out a lot more, but for now... I- I don't- I don't want to miss anything, so I'm- I'm okay not using it. That's- is that the first time that I haven't been able to use a power? Maybe. I don't know. All right. I think that's about it. Let's get going for a little bit. We've got like 15 minutes to Let's learn a little bit. With a basic explanation of the class trial. So your votes will determine the results. I wasn't even paying attention to the new uh, setting that we're in. <laughs> Egypt. If you can figure out who done it, then only they will receive punishment. But if you pick the wrong one, you know what? I should have paid it. I should have been paying attention to the uh, atmosphere. Maybe this is a hint for who's doing it. Maybe it is Hero and it's Egyptian because the last time it was 
really regal and it was Celeste, right? Hmm. Then I'll punish everyone besides the Blackened, and the one that deceived everyone else will graduate. Now then, where to begin? Hmm. We already know who did it. Uh, Hina? No, we oh, don't really. Deja vu. I mean, she she did this the last time, right? The one who killed Sakura is one of the people that hated her. Byakuya, Toko, or Hiro. It was one of you. <laughs> I had nothing to do with it. Yeah, I'd never kill someone. No way. I don't want to hear your stupid excuses. Hina seems really sure that it's one of those three in the uh, that one of those three is the killer. She must have some reason for believing that. Indeed. Okay, let's make the argument. I probably have to fight against her. Aoi's a keen as a count. Mm. We'll see. It was one of you. Mm -hmm. One of you killed Sakura. And what reason do you have for saying so? Because you all had a motive. You hated her. Is that it? That doesn't make any sense. That's the only reason you have for accusing us? That's low. That's about as low as you can get. Hold on, hold on. Let me. What? What exactly is Aoi's account? Uh, truth bullets. Uh. Okay. Sakura had written notes to Toko, Byakuya, and Yasuhiro, asking them to meet her in the rec room. She had slid these notes underneath each person's room door. It, it would be copying hated her and using it for the second one, I think. Some concrete, re uh, concrete reason why Hina suspects those three specifically. I'm sure she's mentioned it before. Yeah, the hated. It was one of you. One of you killed. And what reason? Do you because you all had a mo. You hated her. Oh shit! I. Shit! I. I. That's about as low as you can get. Hmm. It was one of one of you killed. And what reason? Do you because you all had a motive. You hated her. Is that it? That doesn't make any sense. I. I'm not. Comfortable with this. Bitch, I missed. That's about as low as okay. I'm not a hundred percent on this. And what reason do you have? Because you all have you hated her. Is that it? That doesn't make any sense. Uh, after this one. I missed. Shit. Oh, fuck off. One of, one of you and what reason? Because you all, you hated her. Is that it? That doesn't make any sense. That's the only reason you have her accusing us. Oh, really? Okay. What's wrong? Did I say something weird? Shoot. I need to think about it one more time. There must be a contradiction in there somewhere. I'm actually struggling with this on the first it was one. One of you. One of you killed and what reason did Because you all, you hated her. This is the Is that it? That doesn't make any sense. That's the only reason you have That's low. That's about as low as you can get. I would either have to copy his or use Aoi's account on herself. Some concrete reason why Hina suspects those three specifically. I'm sure she's mentioned it but Oh, just using... Oh, okay, just using Hina's account. Okay. You hated her. Is that it? That's... That's the only reason you have her accusing us? God damn it. That's about as low as you can get. I completely... Yeah. Because you all, you hated her. Is that it? That doesn't make any sense. That's the only reason you have her accusing us? That's God no fucking way. damn it, this is annoying me. Uh, the defense is really pissing me off. I can, I can slow it down. You're joking. 
You're fucking joking. Ugh. This is really pissing me off. Ugh. How much time am I spending on this? I clicked a... Ugh. Okay. Damn. <laughs> I find this funny that it's... That this is what's tripping me up. There we go. Oh, what was it that Howie brought, Ahina brought up that... Another reason you suspect them is because Sakura wanted to meet with them, right? Oh, for the murder. Ugh. That completely escaped my mind. Jesus Christ. Okay. Uh, oh, after that blunder, I want to reset. I want a whole other recording. Jesus criminy. Yeah, I'm, I'm leaving this episode here. Jesus, that was bad. Okay. Thanks for coming out. <laughs> yep, I'm leaving it here. Hopefully looking forward to the next episode. Jesus criminy. Ugh. I don't know. Maybe my brain's not working fully, or maybe it's too hot back here. I have no idea. That is... That is so dumb. In my head, I was making sense of the reason why there was any motive at all, not the reason why they had an opportunity to be the murderer. That's what I was trying to solve. It just didn't make sense in my head. Uh, I don't really need to explain it. Try and have a nice rest of your day. <laughs>